Okay, Donald Trump, I'm not going to be mad at you for what you stand for. I'm just going to be mad at you because you don't know that I exist. I'm risking my fucking job! Well, I don't know what in the flying is <laughs> going on, but from the looks of it, Santa Sideho is having a full-out mental breakdown because she can't suck on Donald Trump's China. beach palace. Desperate, uh, got a death wish, uh, I wake up every morning, got a zanny and her lettuce. Okay, welcome back, boys, to another video that is equivalent to getting a circumcision with a John Deere lawnmower. So I'm sitting there. Barbecue sauce on my chin. And I was scrolling through little Satan Lick ball sack ball. hell. You guys don't understand my YouTube recommendation. Literally caused me to get chronic AIDS. Every time I open YouTube, I get a blended fat-free smoothie of STDs thrown into my face. Because the videos I get recommended make me want to become an Amish monk. Well, as I near the point of throwing my laptop off the Empire State Building, I saw a video that struck my beach ball of an eye. Donald Trump, go to prom with me. Idea how fast I really am. I'm back as fuck. Any other normal person, I lost about a tumor-sized chunk of brain cells. Almost coughed up the other half like a stray dog in an alleyway. I was a little bit curious to see female elf on the shelf trying to suck off a suntan blobfish. Without further ado, strap yourself tight in a Lazy Boy electric chair, have a gallon of cyanide, and turn out to have your brain slide out of your ear canal. You okay, Donald Trump? You are the man of my dreams. I mean, we cannot lie, Donald Trump does have that marmalade cake. Donald Trump physique is truly something to die for. Who doesn't love a man who's built like a spray tan Peter Griffin? Sure, he's playing tic-tac-toe using bombs as X's and O's and Iranian military bases as a damn checkerboard, but in the end, he is still a beautiful man. Not because, not because you have looks for days and you're the hottest guy in America, in my opinion. Excuse me, bitch! Imagine if Donald Trump just casually watched this video. He's just sitting there with his wife, who could classify as his granddaughter. She told me she was 18! She told me she was 18! Eating his fifth Big Mac of the day. I mean, if we're gonna be honest here, if Donald Trump saw that video, he would 100% have a new first lady. Because how can Trump pass in such a beautiful waste of air? On the side note, isn't me or does Donald Trump low-key look like an Oompa Loompa? Or because you have money. Or anything of that. It's because you're just great. Like anything I say is going to offend literally anyone. So I'm almost at the point of super gluing my mouth shut because I'm so tempted to say something, but I don't want a bunch of trailer park rednecks pull a drive by in their rusty Ford Ranger. Well, to say the least, I definitely don't think Donald Trump is a holy monk who praises Jesus in a shrine. You're you're great to me. You're a great overall. You're a great person, except you don't know I exist. Oh my God. I don't think anyone knows you exist because you're filming this video inside of a shoebox. Like seriously, am I watching a clearance section of the Blair Witch Project? I probably got kidnapped by Larry Nassar himself because he's been trapped in a birdcage for the last 10 years. Seriously though, I mean I'm 99.99 .99 pure hand sanitizer percent sure that this woman is full out Grendel trolling us. If she hasn't, then her brain must be shaped like an IHOP pancake. So, so how do I know that you are great for me? I want you to go to prom with me. <laughs> Yeah, you want to go to prom with a walking tan bed, just so you can cruise in school with a private jet. Nothing like being escorted into homecoming with around 50 men dressed in all black men's warehouse suits, then having them stare into your soul the whole time. I mean, think about being a bodyguard for the president. You know, you you know how stressful that would be? Like, I'm sure Donald Trump has about seven black SUVs following him where he goes through the McDonald's drive through I'm homeschooled, but my living room has plenty of room for just the two of us. Yeah, whoever patched this together is definitely going to the ranch. Boy, I don't think you have any room whatsoever because it looks like you're kneeling God knows what for. You're probably already practicing to give Donald Trump the sloppy floppy. Um, and a radio. And just like kind of rocking back and forth pretty much. Um... To have you in my living room would mean the world to me and my family. I mean, if we're gonna be honest here, this woman probably flat out slashed out her whole family in a sushi kebab because she is just borderline a psychopath. I mean, I'm sure Donald Trump is flattered by these words of wisdom are being said by a Walmart Eva Elfie. Like, I don't know why, but this woman just really looks oh, like Anna from Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman sounding at- Um, it's really small, but I think we can make it work. Also, um... There's gonna be a DJ. My uncle is a good DJ. I don't care. What? At what? Chuck E. Cheese? The only thing your uncle is good at is taking kids to the bathroom in Chuck E. Cheese. Because I know everyone in that family is probably a legalized sex offender. See, this is a perfect example of what could happen if you do the Alabama hokey pokey with your cousin. Because I'm pretty sure this woman is a product of borderline incest. Like, he can play, um, 
the Cotton Eye Joe food. You come from Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah, Donald Trump really likes busting down the Cotton Eye Joe. He starts whipping out his cowboy boots and start banjo dancing every time. Rise. You can play the Cupid Shuffle, anything you like. And um, let me just say, my uncle also loves your casino. Yo, it's like that's crazy, but like I don't remember asking. Oh, but seriously, why is she always bringing up her uncle? Like it's every ten seconds that she has to bring up her uncle, who probably looks like an albino chipmunk. Um. And my whole family is voting for you. So if that works for you, just please put a problem with me. Also, I would yell. I would yell right now at how much I I want you to go to prom with me. But my whole family is asleep. I mean, thanks for the disclaimer. I was wondering if this was an ASMR video because this woman is barely making sound vibrations when she's talking. Had my ear pressed against my laptop to try to make out the whispers. So I'll just leave it at this. I'll sing for you. Donald Trump, can you go to prom with me? With God! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Yeah, if anything, that would make Donald Trump bomb your school. I'm sorry, but why does she sing like an elephant is sitting on her left boob? Sorry. That was just a little gone. It, it means nothing. Her talking is making my throat hurt. I just really want to give this woman a halls or something because when your throat sounds so raspy to the point that it affects my throat then that's where you need to swallow cough drops like they're a pack of skittles all right um bye sugma sugma what sugma dick okay well that was by far the most awkward goodbye i've ever seen in my whole entire life i, was, I couldn't tell if she was trying to give a kiss or a secret code for saying help me oh boys if you thought that was bad there's another video right after that saying why donald trump is a bad boyfriend so i'm gonna guess the prom day didn't go so well you don't know how hard it is to be dating our future president. You're right, I don't. And the last time I checked, I don't think you do either. Because not even two minutes ago, you were singing a croaky crow sound voice about how you wanted to ski on Donald Trump's meat. He's always so busy. He's never home to hug me. And never even got to kiss him yet or meet him. Donald Trump would rebuild the Twin Towers and fly another plane into it. Or he would touch your crusty and probably dusty lips. Like seriously, if this woman isn't trolling, what five mental disorders does she have? He's always too busy for me. And it's really difficult to be in this relationship. We're gonna be honest, I think Donald Trump would rather date Putin than any other day because they're practically butt buddies at the moment. Donald Trump's always like chilling with the boys in Moscow. I think this relationship is really toxic. I mean like really just one sided from the looks of it, you know? I really feel bad. I can't tell I can tell she's really trying and Donald Trump is too busy inspecting soccer balls that Putin gave him. I'm about as lost for words as you guys are. I literally forgot where I am and what my name is because I just lost so many brain cells from this woman. Well boys I'm gonna cut it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm also hoping your brain didn't dolphin dive out your ear because i'm pretty sure mine did by now slap a like on this video before your dad slaps you subscribe if you hit my vibe and follow my twitter link down below also help me get to 6,000 subscribers that would mean more than the world to me sorry if this video is kind of short i just wanted to get something out but i'll see you guys in the next one all right bro Shit is to my phone up, I don't even know I didn't roll the dojo, I don't even smoke Yeah, tell her that I love her, so she think we closer But TBH, I don't even know I ain't desperate, got a death wish, yeah, yeah.